So Video Socials member had a question and I figured I'd answer it via the video rather than writing out a five minute email. Hi, I'm Mark Bullock of videosocials.net and phoneblogger.net. And the question was, my more general interest videos seem to get more traction and engagement than my more specific topic related videos. What's up with that? And which should I do? So, and I'm paraphrasing here and it may or may not be useful to know that this person's an attorney. And this is the question that I think everybody has, especially if they're fairly new to content creation. So I'm gonna tell you a story uh, and it's about another video socials member and it's Ada Hasslocker. Ada's been a client of Practice Marketing Incorporated, the parent company of Video Socials, uh, for more than a decade. And we've been helping her with her blog posts, text posts, uh, for that entire time. She has hundreds of them. Uh, she's a great writer and um, you know, really kind of got bored with the whole concept of just doing quote, technical videos, things that, you know, child support videos or uh, asset allocation videos and et, et cetera. So, um, or, or content rather. And so uh, she's, you know, creative. And so she wanted to, to tie into the local topics and interest of the day uh, with a lot of the articles that she's written. And she's become a master of kind of tying that back to mediation, which is quite interesting. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is fast forward 10 years, she has hundreds of articles. Uh, some of them are very specific. In other words, they feed her prospects, but the general purpose or general interest, shall we say, uh, topics are ones that have a much broader audience. Why would you want to do that? Well, in the personal branding space, and in fact, in the blogging space, because that's what a blog is meant to be. It's meant to, to help you gain your personal brand and grow your personal brand so that people, whether they be potential referral sources, referral partners, business partners, prospects, leads, um, you know, would, would be the ones that you're speaking to directly for a specific thing or not. It gives you the opportunity to be out there and because you never know who's gonna end up being able to refer your business. So should you do one or the other? I say do both, unless you have a specific, I am going to do 10 pieces of content and I need them to be exactly what I need them to be and only go to those specific people that I need them to go to. Well, then of course, direct to them, but that's not gonna work. Why? Because this is the age of technology. The videos, the written blog posts, et cetera, you need to be out there with some consistency. You need to do it long-term. The short, the short term is not gonna get you what you want. And feed your prospects, feed them the, the specific information on the specific topics that they need, but also don't ignore the larger general audience that ultimately the more people that know about you, the more value that, that you're putting out there in the world, the more business is going to come back to you. Hope that answers your question and have a great day.